there's a time when you are essentially in the zone with the glass. It has all your attention. It's almost like a meditative practice. If you're distracted for a second, the whole thing can collapse. <laughs> and you start over. I like being in that zone. My name is Jim Breen. I've been at Berkeley 16 years. I make custom glass apparatus for the researchers to use for their experiments. I don't make off-the-shelf test tubes and beakers and pedestrian glassware. My time is better spent making complex apparatus. I probably make about 500 pieces a year. I started working with glass in high school doing stained glass windows. And that's pretty much all I needed. And I decided that I would find a way to do it for a living. Some of my ancestors from, um, from my dad's side of the family back in the 1800s were glass blowers. So it's, I guess it's in our DNA. Everybody at UC Berkeley wants the impossible. It's either something that's too small or too big. I never say no. I always figure out a way to make what the researcher needs to have. And it's up to me to extract out of their imagination something that I can make. A lot of the research groups here are doing environmental research. Our lab is interested in reconstructing how temperature is varied through time. We're taking molecules from trees to understand the climate in which the trees are growing in the past. Reconstructing climates in the past, which helps us understand what climate will look like going forward. When I arrived at Berkeley, one of the first things I did is go and meet with Jim. I knew that I had to have a vacuum line designed and built and made custom. You can't get these things off the shelf. Daniel and Jim have put together a lab that is so good and so flexible for doing exactly what we need to be doing. You rely on having people who support the work being done here that are true experts in their trade and in their craft. And they are critical to allowing us not only to do what we want to do, but helping us get there. It's uh, very gratifying that I'm able to help them along the path that they're on. The kids these days, well, they're going to save the world. <laughs> In a small way, I'm making a contribution.